I feel like I've been here before. It's like deja vu. Look, I gotta unsweat every one of these and then sweat them on to, to here. And then unsweat that one and sweat it onto there. Hmm. Deja vu. There you go. That is uh, the GOXL that has a refrigerant leak in the evaporator that looks like it's going to be a pain in my tush to get out. So we'll see how this one goes. But from the looks of it, it's going to be a job. So I have assessed the damage and the coil, I had to take this return plenum down um, and I had to disconnect this duct right here because it runs back that way. The blower and uh, the coil are just on the other side where that trap is there. That trap right there. Um, so I had to get in that little area right there and I think there's enough room for the coil to slide out. It doesn't look like it is, but I measured it. And so it starts right there at the edge of the return plenum and goes to over there. So I'm hoping there's enough room to pull it from from there to the wall and get the thing out. But, but it's definitely not going to be a fun job to do. Uh, wow. Wow, 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 wow. Geos. You gotta love them. Alright, as you can see, I kind of cleared my space out. See, there's a, <clears throat> the blower. And there's a wall behind me. Uh, there's a little cap that goes on the top there. So I was able to get it out. And, uh, you know, I hadn't got the coil out of the truck yet, so... I believe right there I'm gonna have to braze it in there and uh, back there braze it in uh, of course I'll take the blower housing and motor out and the electric strips there so I have plenty of room to crawl inside there and then I'll be able to lift this thing up slide that coil out slide a new one in put everything back together so but there's my return. I disconnected it from right there. There's ductwork. The almighty ductwork. Boy, I'm gonna hate to come out here and have to change this motor because I'll have to take the ductwork apart in order to do it. To get the motor out. What are you gonna do? Getting ready to walk back down there. My, my recovery machine is running. Uh, I won't go down there because the thing is so loud, but... What a nightmare. Well, got my recovery done. I'm looking at the coil, and as you see, I had to braze in my feeders. I just love Jill's. Love them, love them, love them. And of course, there's my sucks. So, I'm going to get that coil cut out of there. And uh, get this one done. Alright, so I got my feeder tube braised up back here. Uh, as you can see, I swedged it right there. And I'll braise it up. And then, the suction line over here. Got it all swedged up right there. right there and I'll braze that up and I'll start getting this thing put back together while I got the vacuum pulled on it and it is brazed in see back there I put that piece of sheet metal up so I wouldn't be smelling all the insulation burning um, got that one over here is done 
wherever it is, there it is right there, got it done. Uh, hard part's over with now, fellas. Now I just get to put everything back together. Wait a second, I just said the hard part was done. Putting everything back together is the hard part. The easy part's over. You know what sucks about this job the most? And no, it's not having to pull down the return plume, disconnect the ductwork. It's that after you get the return plume up, you realize that the thermostat wire that was hanging above the return plume is now drooping below the unit. So now I got to disconnect it, rerun it, which is no big deal, but you know, you get almost to the end of a job and you just create work for yourself. That's the worst part of the, the job.